That was a freshwater tank in the stem, and that used to sit in that part there. This was the coal chute. So we tried to get at it, but have a, have a look. it's all it's all rusted up, but still still some coal left in there. If you're wanting a red light fire. So yeah, up above this there's a small chute. So they just opened it up and poured the coal straight down in there. Uh, this part here, this and I will have to put on comments box precise name, but it is the uh, it's where the anchor chain goes. And in fact, when we were here last, it's very difficult to see, but in there, there is still some anchor chain left. You see that lives under that door. So the, uh, the, the captain or pilot has got control of the anchor there. This part over here, I was, I had it described to me, it's a, like a two-way pump. Um, and these pipes go to different places, and this is like a sort of uh, a valve, a junction, if you like, which uh, so you can choose where you're pumping from, and that's pumped from the, the, the deck up above to get rid of water. The last, we're not quite sure when the barge was last used, but uh, when we found it, it had been sitting sitting in the in the water there for about 20 years. But despite the muckiness because nothing's been touched. It's all in extremely good condition. So the, the, the front of the hull here is fantastically thick steel. Um, um, but it's also been overplated on the outside for extra strength. So the hull is in just as good condition as, it was, as the day it was bought. You could quite safely put 250 tonnes of cargo in that and use it as a working barge. We've got that bit right, which is really exciting. That's the bit that's so important, making sure that it's all very safe and solid, which it is.